Hello everybody, you know who it is, my name is Sanwu and in today's video we are going to take a look at the OP1's voltage engine. As always, all this information is without proof. If you know any better what's going on, feel free to let me know down in the comments. And with that out of the way, a quick summary of what I think the voltage engine is about. The voltage engine I think has a main oscillator and a sub oscillator. The sub oscillator modulates the main oscillator with amplitude modulation. There's a noise source, there's a filter and that's it. But let's have a look at the specific parameters. And the first parameter we're going to take a look at is the beige parameter. Right now we've got a clean sine wave if I play a note. But if we turn this knob up, at first we will distort the sine wave a little bit and then we'll introduce some noise. You can hear some harmonics are being added. And then at some point we're getting noise as well. And this is it turned all the way up. So we're just distorting the waveform a little bit, adding harmonics and then adding some noise. And I'm gonna leave this turned up all the way for now in order to explain the next parameter, which is the gray parameter. And this is a filter. So right now the filter is all the way open, meaning it's turned all the way clockwise. But if we start turning it counterclockwise, At some point our noise and our high frequencies are disappearing until we're basically back at a sine wave. I'm gonna turn it all the way up again. But it's not quite as simple as that because if I turn the noise all the way down again and this all the way clockwise Yes, we've got a sine wave, but interestingly, when I turn this filter down, again, we are somewhat distorting the waveform and therefore introducing more high frequencies actually, rather than taking them away with the low pass filter. Until we turn it further. And then we're taking away high frequencies again until we're at the pure sine wave when we turn it all the way counterclockwise. So completely counterclockwise, we've got the low pass filter closed all the way and we're hearing a sine wave. And completely turned to the right, we've got the low pass filter open all the way and we also hear a sine wave. But in between there is some distortion of the waveform happening and therefore we are hearing more harmonics and you can see the waveform being distorted. And the next parameter we're gonna take a look at is the red parameter and this one changes the pitch of our sub oscillator. When it's turned all the way counterclockwise, the pitch of the sub oscillator is the same as our main oscillator and as we increase it, it will be tuned downwards, not upwards. until it's one octave below our main oscillator. And lastly, let's take a look at the blue parameter, which I think controls the level of amplitude modulation between the oscillators. So right now there's no amplitude modulation, but as I turn it up, we'll hear the sidebands. Until we're at full level. And of course the sound of this amplitude modulation depends on what frequency we have tuned our sub oscillator to. So let's hear what that sounds like if we change it. So you can certainly get some interesting and crazy sounds out of this. Let's tune this to a fifth again.
The interesting thing here is that you are hearing the carrier as well as the modulator and the sidebands all at the same time. And now let's turn some other parameters. And that's already it for the parameters. Now I'm going to try to create a few sounds with this in order to see what we can get out of the voltage engine. Sound number one, bassy movie sound effects. As you can see, the amplitude modulation is quite high up. The frequency of my sub oscillator is almost one octave down, but I shifted it just slightly off using shift and the orange or red knob. This is if it's completely at minus one octave. But if I shift it off a little bit, I get this nice modulation. I've got no noise, the filter is turned down a little bit. I'm using unison and a little bit of reverb. And next up I've made this sound that sounds a little bit like a steel drum. And here I am modulating the pitch of the sub oscillator using my envelope just a little bit. These are my settings. I think the noise is completely all the way off. Filter turned down a little bit. This is what it sounds like if I introduce some noise. Sounds quite nice as well. And then I've got this in poly mode and I've got a little bit of delay on there. And this is the final sound. As you can see there is some heavy modulation of the pitch of the sub oscillator and the way I've done this is I've set the pitch to be right in the middle and then modulated it by the amount of 50 using a square wave and this means that it jumps between being the same pitch as the main oscillator and being one octave lower than the main oscillator so we get this nice rhythmic variation while still being in tune with the main oscillator. I've got the amplitude modulation all the way down, but this is what it sounds like when I turn it up. Just gets a little more gritty. We've got a bit of noise. And this is what the filter's doing in this case. So it's all the way open, but we're not getting this distortion that's coming from the filter if we turn it down. And finally, of course, it's set to poly mode and we've got a little bit delay on there. We could also try another effect like the grid, for example. Anyway, these are just a few very quick examples of what you can do with the Voltage Engine. I hope you learned something and if you want to learn more about the OP1, the OPZ or music making in general, feel free to contact me for private online lessons, link up there or down in the description. Other than that, thank you so much for watching the video, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I would appreciate a like, comment down below, subscribe to the channel and ring the bell so you don't miss the next video because I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, have a wonderful time. Peace.